I had a 50% off coupon, so I had to go to Goodwill. Are you ready? Let's get started. This video continues with my thrifting extravaganza when Melody, my friend from Pennsylvania, was here. And she loves to go to the Akron Goodwill on Waterloo for the bins. And we also did the retail side. Like I mentioned, I had a coupon and I needed to spend it before it went out of date. So let's see what I found. This haul cost me $14.25. First off, I'll show you this item, which I thought was very unique. This is gonna go in my booth. It's just a pretty little wind chime that you can sit inside your house instead of outside. And the price of it was $3. So that's gonna go in my booth. I think it's very calming and pretty sounding. And that's in pretty good shape too. Everything's a favorite. <laughs> well, this isn't really my favorite, so we'll show this next and build up. But I do sell ashtrays in my booth, and this one says on the back, Salem Oven Proof 23 Karat Gold. And then it has three stars and the number 67. I'm not sure why an ashtray would be oven proof. If you know, I'm curious to know. It was marked 50 cents. I kind of peeled off part of the tag because it was covering over the wording. And I'm not sure how, but I got this for 50 cents. It couldn't be the color of the day because I have other things that are black as well. So not sure how that happened, but I believe I got that for a quarter. All right, everything else is a favorite. <laughs> so I got this little item. It does need a little repair. And I think it's just so cute. It was $2.50. It has a cameo on it. And then over here, it says jewelry. And then right here in the front, it says Ohio. Now the, oh, I didn't see that. Oh my goodness, this is interesting. It looks to me like there's a tag on the bottom, a very, very old price tag that says $4.29. I don't know if you can read that. And then this other tag says made in USA. So the problem with this is it opens just fine, but one of the hinges has come unhooked from there. I'm very confident that my husband can fix that for me. I think it's just a matter of hitting it with a hammer in the right spot and making those ends go back into the wood, I hope. So that was $2.50 and it's just a little jewelry or trinket box and it will go in my booth. Everything so far is going in my booth. All right, let's see. Next, I'm gonna show you what I got for my half off coupon. I just think this is so adorable. I have waffled back on forth back and forth on whether to keep it or sell it. It's made by Thermos. It says Thermos brand picnic jug right on the top there. It's in very good condition. There's just a little bit of paint loss here. I don't know if you can see that. Of course, the bottom is yellowed, but I would expect that for how old it probably is. And let's see, it was marked $5.00. And that's the most expensive thing I could find that I wanted to spend and use my 50% off coupon. I know, that's really pathetic, huh? Of course, when you're looking for something expensive that you really want, you can't find it when you have a coupon. So I got this for $2.50. I will probably put it in my booth and see if it sells. If it doesn't sell in a timely manner, I'll probably pull it and use it for fall decor. <laughs> All right. Next is a toss up. I think I'm going to use, I'm, I think I'm going to show you this next. This is something I just love. Do you have any guesses what it might be? Look at this. It was $3. Do you remember I had a longer or taller one and it was skinnier? I don't believe, yeah, it didn't have any drawers. It just had this part. If you can picture this and taller, that's what I had before and it sold immediately in my booth. This was only $3. I'll 
Um, I will try to show you the bottom without hurting anything. I don't know what way that is worded sideways or whatever, but it does say made in Taiwan. Has some nice little felt nubbies on the bottom. And I just love this. And I think that's what sold my last one. So I'll turn it around. It's in really good shape. I'll, I just want to open it up and then show you what's inside and then one of the drawers inside. They have like a little crushed velvet, I think it would be pink or dusty rose inside of each drawer. All of the handles are intact. And then inside, let me lift this up carefully. There's this little item or piece that goes around. You can twirl it around and that's where you would hang your necklaces. And then, oh, at the bottom, I'm trying not to blind you with the mirror. At the bottom, there's a spot for rings. So there you have it. That will be going in my booth and I'll probably put some jewelry in it too to sell. Maybe in the drawers too, I can put little pins and such. I think it would be a great idea of how to display it. All right, now this piece, I'm gonna need your opinion. Do you see that space? It's hard to point on camera. <laughs> right there, that wall, the side of my refrigerator is blank. And I thought I might put this up there, but I'm torn and I'll tell you why. This was, let me see, $3 rather large. It says kitchen, the heart of the home. It has a pig on it. I've been finding pigs lately and thinking they're cute. And this is the part I'm unsure about. At the bottom, it's a bulletin board. I guess I could use that for our weekly menu and then just change it out every week. Maybe write it on a piece of paper. But other than that, I don't really need a bulletin board in my kitchen but I just think the top is so, so cute. And for $3 on the back, it says $15. That to me looks like a Goodwill price. So not real sure about that. And then it's it's got a circle sticker on that says Madison, welcome home country, country no county kitchen blackboard made in China, distributed by, oh, big lots. I, I forgot I had seen that. I was thinking it was Hobby Lobby. So anyways, how much did I say? It was $3. So I will hold this up over there and I'd like your opinion if you think I should keep it or sell it. And if you think I should keep it, what would I do with that bulletin board? Because I think it would probably not look too good if I just left it there blank. So I'm looking for some creative ideas. Let me know your thoughts. I'm gonna have to say, it's a tie between this and the jewelry box for my favorite. I would love to know in the comments below what your favorite is, but don't go away because I got a surprise package and I'm gonna open it up on camera and show you my reactions. It's from my subscriber. Her name is Margaret and she sent me packages before. She's so sweet. Oops, almost dropped my pig. <laughs> All right, let me get that and we'll look into her friend mail. You have <laughs> I have my lovely assistant, Mr. My Blessed Nest, holding this up for us. What do you think? Do you like it here? This is in my kitchen, on the wall here, right by the fridge. So let me know what your thoughts are. I am so excited to open this friend mail from Margaret. I've kind of got everything laying around me. I didn't peek at anything, but I have it kind of laid out so it'll be easy for me to open. I think it came two days ago and it was so hard to wait, but I wanted to be able to take the time to film it to share with you all. This is the adorable card that Margaret sent me and she put in there some really sweet things. Basically, she wanted to let me know that there's some things in here for me or for my store or to re-gift. And the part that really meant a lot to me is she wanted to let me know that she has a lot, a lot of enjoyment and fun watching my channel. I can't tell you how much that means to me and that you would take the time and money to send this to me and pick out all these things just for me. I'm just beyond grateful. So thank you so much, Margaret. And if you see her in the comments, she's M-S-E-J. So let's get started and see what Margaret sent me. First, there's this interesting box here. 
Oh my gosh, Valentine's, you guys. Oh, I love Valentine's. Look how cute. They're all tied together here. I uh, won't go through each and every one, but let's take a look at a couple of them. Oh, how sweet. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, cutie. And it says Mrs. Cheese. So there's all different ones. Oh, this one's cute. Don't be bad, be mine. I'd be lost without you, Valentine. Look how sweet they are. I will make such good use of these. Oh, I like you better than carrots. Happy Valentine's Day, teacher. Look how sweet. And they even have the envelopes with them. I know I said I'm not going to show you them all, but I have to show you this one too. And it says, my heart is jumping over you. I'm aiming for your heart. These are just adorable. And they have all the envelopes with them too. So there's that. And oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. For a wonderful God child. Happy Halloween. Look how cute. I will use that on my hutch or on my shelving unit over there or on my tiered tray. And there's some adorable vintage cards. It's time to take it easy. Oh, look at their little hats made out of flower petals, I think. Or, yeah, probably little flowers. How cute. Aw, in other words, there's a dictionary. Daisies. Oh my gosh, this can go up with my deer. Look how cute that is. Oh, I love this. That's so me. Thank you, Margaret. Okay, let me set this aside. This one is in some bubble wrap here. Oh, I think I can tell what it is by feeling. Yes, I love these. It's a little stand. I use these in my booth and I use them at home to display plates or ephemera or whatever. Booklets, books. So that's right up my alley. All right, let's 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 look at this one next. Oh, I love this. These are treat bags. I've always looked for some of these. I could do lots of things with this. I could put these on a garland and hang them on my fireplace. What do you think? Aren't they darling? Oh, Love that. Look at his teeth. <laughs> That's great. All right. This one's in some purple paper. You did an amazing job of wrapping all this to keep it safe. Oh my gosh. I think I, I've seen this somewhere. Somebody had one of these and I loved it. Yes. It's... <gasps> I love it. It's a globe. If you don't know, I collect globes and it's a pencil sharpener. I've always wanted one of these. It's so amazing. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. That'll probably go in my den. I'll probably put it in there. That's where the majority of my globes are. And I think it would be cute on my desk. I have a little cubby space. I think that it would be perfect in there. Here's where I decided to put my pencil sharpener globe. Doesn't it look adorable here on my little cubby in my den? Let's see what this is. This is like Christmas. Oh, I had one of these years ago. It didn't have the jack-o'-lantern face on it, and I regretted getting rid of it because I wanted it and then I didn't have it. That is darling. Whoops, I covered his eyes. I wonder if somebody Somebody must have glued that on there. Did you do that, Margaret, or did you find it that way? That is cute. Love it. She's nailed my style. <laughs> this one, it's got sparkles on it. Oh, cute. I love using fancy napkins for the different seasons, so that'll be fun. And this one, I pre-unwrapped pre it with the, from this ribbon. Isn't this adorable? Little pokey dots. So just trying to not have you have you to wait so long. I'm gonna cut it open here. Oh, this is cute. This will look great in my kitchen. It's a lemons. Perfect color. So bright and cheerful. I love it. I'm a dish towel fanatic if you didn't know that too. Oh, how adorable their pics. Look at this little guy. How cute. 
He's so happy. I love him. And here's another one. Oh, look how sweet. Look at that face. I love his pants. I don't know if you can see the print. They're kind of like a calico patchwork type look. Super adorable. Okay, there's a big box and a little box. So here's the little box. I opened the box lid and it says, love this life. That's cute. All right. There's two little tiny packages in here. Okay, here's the first one. Some kind of animal. You know I'm good with animals. I can identify them. <gasps> oh, darling. I'm going to say it's a mouse. And it says on the heart, I love you. <gasps> that is so cute. That'll be perfect for Valentine's Day. Look at his eyes. Can you see how expressive they are? That is darling. Oh, how cute. Let's see what it says on the bottom. Josie's, I think, oh, it's Joseph Originals. I've heard of those. Made in Taiwan, Republic of China. And there's a number on the bottom. Oh my gosh, that's darling. Is it a duck? I'm gonna guess. Or would it be a little chicky? I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm really good at identifying animals, but it's darling. And there's a little pink flower on the back. Just so, so cute. I love how tiny it is too. Okay, that was in the little box. And this box, I haven't done anything with yet. I wanted you to see how cute it is. Ooh, I hear something. Okay, I have everything kind of pre-unwrapped. There's a cute pine cone with snow on. I love to decorate with pine cones. Oh, these are so cute. Jingle bells, and they're different colors. I think I would probably keep those just like that and display them like that. Oh, coasters. Ho, 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 look how cute the Santa is. I would probably display them like that too on my Santa shelf. If you don't know, I have a shelf over there that my hubby made me. It's on that wall. And last year it ended up being full of Santa stuff. Look at his little smirk. <laughs> so cute. Alrighty. And then, oh, what's this? Oh, little cherubs. Oh, I think this is those. What do they call them? You have to tell me, Margaret. Are these the things that you open up and it fans out? Well, it just fell out, so let's see. I think so. No, I'm not sure. Oh, I bet it's a garland. Is it a garland? That is darling, little cherubs. And there's more than one. There's like three of them. Tell me about those when you see the video, because I'm excited to know. I bet it's a garland, and you probably open it all up and hang it. That's so cute. Alrighty, and I think, let me check. Nope, there's two more. Stick with me. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of my childhood. Look at this. Is this a putt's house? I'm not sure. It says on the bottom, Japan. Isn't it, darling? Oh my gosh, and it has a bottle brush tree. That is so, so cute. I love that. There's a little hole in the back, so I'm guessing you could put a light in there and light up the house. Is that what that's for, Margaret? Let me know. How cute. And this is the last one, I think. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like this. I've seen a Santa similar to that, but look at what he is on. He's on the chimney of the house. Oh my, that's, that is awesome. Look at his face. Oh, I love that. Thank you so, so much. I feel so spoiled. This is, this is like Christmas, Margaret. Thank you so much for being such a sweet subscriber and always watching my videos and commenting and having fun little things to say. I appreciate you so much.
This has just been a real treat. So thank you all for watching and staying till the end. I know sometimes maybe friend mail isn't as fun for everybody else as it is for me, but I wanted to honor Margaret's time and, and all the effort she put into doing this and show it on film. So thank you again, Margaret. You've really made my day. And if you didn't see my last video, you're going to want to check that out because that was packaged two of two. Funnily, and funnily, is that a word? Funny enough, I got package two first. And then I thought she just meant it was my second friend mail from her because she sent me a package before. So imagine my surprise when this came a couple days later. So as always, I would love it if you put your favorite from my haul in the comments. And if you want to put any comments about the friend mail, feel free to do that as well. I would love to know what your favorite item is. I'm going to have to say it's a tie for me between Santa and the globe pencil sharpener. Oh my, but I am thrilled with every single thing. That's it for today. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Don't forget to check my end screen for a video that's been picked especially for you to watch next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.